Hello, this is Mar Fikes Jr. and this is Meticulous Basketball here at Concordia University. I uh, want to show you a drill that I showed you probably uh, several months ago. And this is post series, this block to block post series that gives you a lot of opportunity to work on your handle, work on your footwork, work on jump stopping, but also gives you an opportunity to work on your post game. Now, obviously, there's some ways that we can approach the post in terms of position. We could stand in here and have one foot, one, up, one foot out and work at an angle, or we can work flat and have 10 toes at the base, at the sideline. I typically do this drill with 10 toes going to the baseline just because it works better that way for what we want to accomplish or how the drill is designed. So this is what's going to happen. Last time I was in here, and Trick, you can come up closer. Last time I was in here, I worked on my spin move. I worked on spinning, getting my hand in the chair, getting 10 toes to the baseline, and I worked on same side finish, and then also worked on my reverse finish. Well, this time, I'm just going to give you kind of a collage of different uh, actions that you can use for this post drill. Now, I'm going to use a handle to get to one side to the other. So you'll see me start sometimes with my right hand, sometimes my left. But I'll start with a move, make a quick move, and then I'll attack this opposite chair. Once I get here, I'm going to jump stop. From here, I can either pivot this way, I can reverse pivot this way, or I can drop step and then work on my post game. So what I'm going to show you is a lot of drills that you can use. Uh, I'm going to show you working on, I'm, I'm going to show you this drill using all those different actions to get myself going, all right? Um, just to give you an idea for all the different options that are available. All right, here we go. That's a few ways we can get going. Once I get here, I can attack this way, or I can drop step and get myself going. I could also catch reverse pivot, sweep, go this way, or I can catch reverse pivot, sweep, and go this way. I give you another way you can start this drill. We'll use triple threat. So, triple threat training, Go back to another video I did way, way, way back in the day. Basketball's on the hip, body, defender. When I'm here, I can go sweep. You probably have to sweep because you almost sweep in the ground. I can go sweep and go. And notice where my foot goes. My foot doesn't go here. My foot sweeps, and I'm going right here for the pin down, okay? Make sure I'm going in a straight line. Or I can go high rip. See, you're going against a smaller defender who's already low. You don't want to mess around and sweep low because that's where their hands are. I'll go high whip, I'll go over the top. So I'm going to go over the top and pin down. Foot and hand still end up in the same space. Once I get here, I can now work on my post move. So I'll show you some of the different ways that we can jump stop pivot and attack out of the triple threat and then get to a place where we jump stop pivot and work on our post moves. All right, so I'll give you about four to six reps. Alright, there you have it. Here's our post series, our chair to chair block post series. What I typically do, I pick out one move. One move. Today was my post, was my fadeaway. I'm here, fake the middle, turn around, fade away. I did that for five minutes but I use the dribble to get going. So if I don't short on time, I'm using my handle, working on my handle, getting past my defender, and then I work on my post. I'm going for my perimeter workout, or 
for my dribbling workout, it's my post workout. I worked on catch and turn, then I worked on catch, drop step, turn. I did it for five minutes. The stop and go, it's great for cardio. I do this early in my workout, so this kind of gets me going. This kind of gets me going. Get a good sweat, I get tired, and then I get a chance to see if I can make some shots when I'm fatigued. Great workout, again, post, block to block, block, to block post series. Um, do one move for five minutes, then do another move for five minutes, but don't just do a whole bunch of them. Master one thing so you can rely on it in some situations. Particular this basketball, more drills to come.